A few months ago, I had the opportunity to attend the Palmetto State Gathering put on by Palmetto State Armory, where I got to meet some really cool people and look at some really cool products. This is one of the videos from that event. Hey, I'm here at Palmetto Gathering here at Palmetto State Armory Gathering. So pardon the noise because this is almost as bad as SHOT Show. But I'm here with Evan from a new company called XMAG. And basically, it's the coolest thing I had to show you. Is you're kind of new. It's like a magazine for magazines. Yep, we lovingly call it our Pez Dispenser for magazines. So, 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 so tell us about this product because I think it is, is really, really cool. Okay, so we developed this product for non-combat MOS. So they get 550 rounds in one day on the range and they're getting too many casualties in combat. So what we did was we came up with a way uh, for them to quickly arm themselves and reload under a battlefield stress because uh, that's where they're not proficient at. Right. So we came up with our little Pez dispenser box here and it mounts in four different directions. It'll hold any kind of magazine uh, for an AR-15 and old standard combat loadout of six magazines and seven metal magazines because there's no base plate these are a little flatter so it's one hand operation quick attach detach right handed left handed we also have uh, vehicle mounts so that way you can mount it to a wall a safe we have magnetic ma magnetic mounts so you don't have to drill into armor um, and then it's pretty much premised so you can operate with one hand and keep your situational awareness up reduce your cognitive load and not even look at your reloads. And just to be clear, like we were talking, you're doing that like a pro, and you're not you're not an operator, you're, you're not like some special forces I've guru. I've never had the honor of serving. I'm not special forces. The last time I actually did this was at a, a show, uh, I think two months ago up in Vermont. And so it's not like, he's not a ringer here, you know, this is, this is, it really is that simple. Yeah. And what I was really impressed when I came out, one thing that really impressed me is like, these things are literally almost bulletproof. <clears throat> like this is one that was shot by, with buckshot, and yet it still functions. Yes, sir. Which is pretty pretty cool. This was shot at with a three and a half inch uh, buckshot, twelve gauge, at about ten feet. We were putting some barriers up and we were just doing yeah. testing, and that's uh, that's two rounds in one. We blew out the corner. The spring actually oscillates out of the way, and it still clicks on and functions. Cool. And, and then this one, if I understand you right. This, this came out of a, dropped out of a helicopter? Yep, this is our speedball pack uh, that we did for Special Forces. Uh, we literally dropped this set out of a helicopter 30 feet off the ground, 30 miles an hour at General Granger's camp. You can actually see some of the videos of this um, on our Instagram page. Very cool. So, like, this is this primarily aimed, at, like, you, like you said, at non-combatant MOS militaries. Right. right? The people that don't, they don't get thousands of rounds of training a week. They get their one little shot, here you go, and now go, go do your job, whether you're a driver, you're a medic, or whatever. Exactly. And you don't have to wear your ammo on your plate carrier if you're in a vehicle. Yep. You can just literally click it on. That's it. So I thought for, for, from a civilian standpoint, what I liked about it was if you carry an AR as a defensive weapon, which you should, if you get some training, I think it's way better than a pistol. Absolutely. This gives you the ability to uh, have some extra mags really, really conveniently stored mounted them back to your seat you can mount it in a box like you said anywhere yep and you can grab them and go because because otherwise they're going to be scattered around if you need them you got to try to pick them up or put them in your in your vest and most people aren't, aren't carrying a, a vest or, or any kind of a you know body armor or anything else right most a, a lot of our civilian customers actually just mount them in the backs of their vehicles or yep. where they mount their firearm to because i got four kids i don't keep my stuff racked yeah. and locked like yeah if my ar is next to it with a lock on it and this is right next to it so i can grab one quickly shove it in and get to work and you also have you can put it on your belt yep <clears throat> this thing here is pretty cool so what's the, what's the msrp on this Chuck Norris sleeps with a pillow under his gun. So MSRP is about three fifteen for an X pack and a Delta plate. It comes as a set. You can buy them independently, uh, but the set is the best value. And so we also have a MedX upgrade kit, so that way you can mount it to anything, any kind of metal structure without drilling into the metal. That's really cool. So I am. Um, I gotta say, I like to look at new innovative products and bring them to you and i thought man this is, this is the first people i've looked at and i thought man i gotta stop talking to these guys because this is pretty cool so um evan thanks for taking a minute man thank and you sir appreciate your for, time uh, thank you for watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared we'll see you next time